So Jazzy, it's concealed carry day. Yeah, I yeah. see that. You mentioned that you really didn't know of any style of concealed carry other than purse carry, right? Yeah, that and what I see in the Western movies. Right, so. which doesn't <laughs> really apply to your style, right? No, not at all. No. <laughs> Fortunately, in the last few years, there has been an explosion of great options other than just purse carry. But let's start there. Okay. Since that's what you know about, right? Yeah. Know all about purses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you see here, I've got a couple of different style options uh -huh. for you. There are a lot of different varieties of exteriors, but a lot of them really have the same structure in terms of concealed carry. So that kind of simplifies things. So these are the 511 bags. Okay. And this is kind of, as you see, more of a sporty option, yeah. right? It's super versatile. I mean, look look at this enormous, wonderful bag. Overnight bag. Yeah, it's a, week it's a weekender, <laughs> yeah. right, totally. But it also doubles as a concealed carry bag. Okay. So you flip it around and then right here, you'll see there is a place to put a Velcro holster in there. Okay. You see that? Oh, yeah. This one is one of those that you draw from the top of the bag. And then your firearm fits right in there, again, with the Velcro holster. Okay. What I really love about having a dedicated concealed carry purse is that you're not putting your firearm inside the bag with everything else. It, it has a pocket specifically for your firearm. So you know that nothing's gonna get jammed in the trigger well right. or anything like that. So you know you're completely safe. Yeah. So this is kind of what you knew before, right? Somewhat. Yeah, okay. Not to this extent though. I never would have imagined these little neat pockets and hidden closures. Knowing that you can close it, it does uh, put my mind at ease with it. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, because that's not safe otherwise. No. And, you're, <laughs> and you know the priority, obviously is to be safe and that's always Absolutely. top of your mind. I love how that is your priority. <laughs> yeah. So that's really great. So let's move on to some of the other holsters that we see here. Okay. All holsters, if they're good holsters, will cover the trigger. And that is a key that you always want to look for. If you don't see a holster covering the trigger and really protecting it and making sure that that trigger is held in place, uh -huh. that is not a holster for you. Okay, yeah, I'm with you on that one. Now these are the belt carry. These two are bra holsters, believe it okay. or not, which is actually, I think, a very convenient way to carry. I, I kind of love it. This is great for a boot. Oh, and actually, okay. it's super versatile. You can carry it in your purse as well. There okay. are a lot of different uses. And then these here are on body carry, and I love them because they're lacy and beautiful, and I thought you might like them for yeah, that reason, Yeah, add too. lace and everything looks better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the thigh holster. And this is wow. probably my favorite thigh holster that I've ever found on the market. As you wouldn't it think it's as sturdy just by looking at it, but this is, I mean, it's a flexible material, but it definitely feels like it's protecting that gun in there. Most of my shirts either have a fun back to it or are more fitted, but something like this is very easy to conceal. Yeah. So this is something that I think would definitely work. Very cool. Good, okay, so you can kind of see just a whole bunch of different aspects. Is there, other than the thigh holster, are there any others that you might be interested in checking out? I mean, I think all of them are worth a try. You know, there's, you never know. Yeah. Everyone's style is different, so it, it just depends on what works with you. And last but not least, we've got some safe storage over here. Now okay. we've emphasized concealed carry, but safe storage is obviously a critical component of having a firearm, and I know that was something that yeah, you were concerned about absolutely. at home, right? Uh -huh. It's secure and easily accessible, and those are the two keys that you really want for any sort of home defense firearm. Absolutely. So now you see all the options you have, and I want you to take some of these home okay. and really give them a try and let, you know, let me know what works best for your lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everything is, again, everything deserves a chance, and so... I'll have to see what works best and I'm excited to try them out.